Hi guys, it's Sam here with Bargain Hunting Blonde and today I am bringing you a review video of my Balenciaga cardigan, which you can only see a little bit of. Let me hold it up. This is a Balenciaga cardigan that I did buy, ugh, buy excuse me, last year uh, and I did buy it from Julian Fashion, which is a European retailer. Uh, they do have some stores in Italy and so I did buy it from them because it was cheaper. Now let's go into the details of this cardigan. It is very obviously <laughs> Balenciaga as you can see all over it. This particular one is a 99% wool and 1% polyamide. When I looked up the current version it is 98% wool, 1% polyamide, and 1% polyester. Um, I'm still glad that it's majority wool but they are slowly sneaking away from that. They also do now have a cotton blend, which is great. Um, and I'll discuss in the pros and cons later, but wool can be a little itchy for some people, uh, not for me, but for others. This is the colorway that is very classic. It is a caramel tan color with the black Balenciaga written on it. And the buttons are a plastic tan color that do say Balenciaga. I did buy a size small and I am 5'10". I traditionally wear a small. I totally could have sized down and got an excess. I was worried about the sleeve length, but as you guys can see, I cuff the sleeves. So that was not actually a worry, but I do like the cuff sleeve look. So I would say you can either buy true to size for more of an oversized coat fit, or if you do want a smaller fit, I would recommend that you buy one size down. Cost-wise, this was, retails currently for $1,390. I would recommend that you don't pay retail. Uh, you can definitely find it for cheaper from the European retailers. And that's what I did. I paid a little over $800 for this, uh, but I did not pay the full retail of $1,390. Though I do think last year it was $1,290, but I could be wrong on that. As for pros, I love this cardigan and I love the style because you can wear it as a sweater. Like you just leave it buttoned up, put something a little underneath it, or if you want a really deep V, definitely don't have to wear anything underneath it. You can wear it fully open, which I will put up a picture of me doing that. Um, more as like a jacket because it is wool, so it is warmer. And then you can also wear it as a sweater but the opposite way which is something i learned from a bunch of the french fashion brands that i follow like saison uh, they do wear it backwards like this so you have more of a top that looks just like a crew neck and then you do have a beautiful back which i find really fun so i think the cardigan you can wear a little more versatile than just the plain sweater version because it does have that jacket cardigan sweater element just depends on you how you want to wear it I also think it is very warm. Like I said, this one is 99% wool and 1% polyamide. Here, let me show you the tag. I don't know if you're going to be able to read that there, but that is what this one is made up of. Like I said, it has changed slightly uh, with the newer version, but still mainly wool, very warm. And lastly, I personally like the look of all the logos. I know this is not for everyone. Uh, like I said, you are wearing a lot of Balenciaga. Uh, it is very much you are like advertising Balenciaga, but I don't mind that. I really like the sweater. I think if you don't like that, the sweater is definitely not for you. There is no way to disguise that this is Balenciaga. Cons. Number one is that some people are going to find this itchy. Like I said, the composition of mine is 99% wool. The current one is 98% wool. That's going to be itchy for a lot of people. Compared to wool, I have had, like, I do have a lot of sweaters that are very high wool content. This is probably one of the least itchy sweaters, which I do appreciate. But like I said, itchiness doesn't really bother me. And two, I do think it is a high price point if you are not finding it on any of the European websites for less. Uh, I don't think I would buy it. Actually, I really like it guys, but I do think I would hesitate a lot more at the $1,390 price point than what the price point I bought it at, which was the $800 range. You can also find them pre-loved. I do see them on some Jap Japanese resellers on eBay for a very reasonable price, and I do trust them. Uh, I would be a little wary if you are looking at an individual seller, uh, just because there definitely are fakes out there. This sweater did become pretty popular. And then I think another con is that this sweater is not as popular as it once was. 
For me, that's not really a big deal, but I do know for some people, they really like to be on trend and this is not as trendy as it was last year. Or I think it even came out the year before. Uh, and I also think the trends kind of vary by color, right? Like at one point it was very much like the neon colors were very in and people really like to wear them. It's been the sweater versus the cardigan. So I just think it depends on your style. It's just not as in as it once was. I do think something really interesting to consider is to buy the cotton blend, though the cotton blend is the same price as the wool. So both are $1,390. I think it just depends on what works for your skin, um, if you're okay with the wool, or if you live in a really hot environment, you're not gonna want a full wool sweater. Like for me, this sweater is definitely something that is a fall, winter, cold, spring, but it is not like, I would not wear this around here where I live in the Bay Area in summertime. I would like die of heat. So definitely something to consider. Me personally, would I buy it again? Yes, definitely. Would I buy it for full retail? No, but that's because I know that I can find it on a European site. Like any of the retailers, European retailers will have it for less. Uh, a lot of times it's included in the discounts or you can use your points towards it. Like, you know, on Luis Sabia Roma, just consider those websites. So I would check out like Julian Fashion is where I got mine from. I check out Italist, I check out Satire or Satire, I'm not sure exactly how you spell, uh, say it, but it's C-E-T-T-I-R-E. -E. Um, I would check out um, My Teresa. I would check out, again, Luis Via Roma, use your points. Uh, just there's a lot of websites that are going to have it for less, especially when they have their sales. Like LNCC has been having their singles day sale recently, and I've definitely seen Balenciaga go on sale there, so that's a great way to get it. Um, but yes, I would highly recommend it. I love it. I would recommend that if you've been eyeing it, you buy it, especially if you're gonna wear it. I wear mine all the time. Like I said, it's a great jacket, but you have to know your lifestyle and also where you live. <laughs> like I said, if you live in like Miami, well, is it just going to probably be too hot all year round? Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys. If you like this sort of video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, which is twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. If you want to see how I style my pieces, please make sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and my blog, all of which are linked down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.